OK. So for this problem now, uh, what we have here is now, when we talked about the other function, we talked about this translation was outside of the function, right? Well, before we even talk about translations and transformations, we need to first determine what the parent graph is. So for this one, the parent graph was y equals absolute value of x. For number four, what is going to be our parent graph? x squared, right? Very good. So we write y equals x squared. So that's our parent graph. So first of all, even once you know the parent graph, you can go ahead and graph it. On your notes, I did show you what the parabola looks like, right? To get the exact points, you can use your table. And you could say 1, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4. Negative 1 squared is 1, negative 2 squared is negative 4. So that is your parent graph, right? So determine what the parent graph is, and then graph it. Cool? You guys should need to do this for every single one of those graphs we have. Now the next thing I need to do is determine is my translation inside my function or outside my function? For this one, it was outside the function, right? This one, it's inside the function because it's inside the parentheses. You can see we have parentheses. We're inside the squaring unit. It's not x squared and then plus 1. It's x plus 1 squared. So it's inside. So. What happens when it's inside? Per your notes, when you have a translation inside your notes, what is that telling you? Shift up, down, or shift left, right? Shift left, right. So plus 1 is going to tell me to shift where? Left 1. Remember, the inside, when it's inside, it's actually going to be the opposite rate. Because remember, the, the graph was x, uh, x minus c that we talked about. So this one actually is going to be shift 1 unit left. We talked about, remember, it's like the opposite, right? When it was this, you think negative down. Here, you think negative to the left or positive to the right, but it's actually going to be shifting to the other way. Yes? I looked at it and noticed that since this is a squaring function, I know that's going to be a parabola. Remember, we only talked about four functions. Absolute value, quadratic, linear, identity, and constant. So that's be one of the four. What does this one look mostly like? The quadratic, because it has that square. So that's why I graphed the quadratic graph. Oh, how did I get the points? Very good. OK. I did a table of values. Ah, crap. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Remember, guys, if you don't know what a graph looks like, make a table of values. What's, then you just plug it in for each one. Negative 2 squared. y equals negative 1 squared. y equals 0 squared. And you do it for all of them. What's negative 2 squared? 4. Negative 1 squared? 1. 0 squared? 0, 1 squared, 1, 2 squared, 4. Then you plot all those points. Negative 2, 4. Negative 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 4. It's kind of like the first one you guys learned how to graph lines. We plotted points and connected. Same thing with these. So we're going to shift one unit to the left. So all I do is I take all of my points, and I shift it one unit to the left. y equals x plus 1 squared. Any questions on that? All right? You guys got to determine what the parent graph is, and then where's the transformation. Is it inside or is it outside? All right? The parent graph is always going to be this one. It's y equals x squared. For this one, it was absolute value of x. OK? All right. 